Hey, 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 it's Corepsy K, and, oh, or should I say, hi, in classic Trillium fashion. Shout out to my girl Trillium. Um, you've inspired me to fill my garden. So we have uh, perennials. I don't know what they are. They're going to be telling pretty. I saw the package. They're nice. Dill. This is definitely dill. Uh, more perennials. So they're going to be telling pretty. Don't know what they are. Over here, we have an entire package of wildflowers that actually all sprouted, so I have to thin these. I don't even know how to thin these. They're, 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 they're far too dense. This is a whole story in and of itself. So, I bought one of those herb things, herb packages, where you could like lay down just like this little mat and it grows a bunch of wild herbs. Okay. Well, all it grew was, what, parsley, cilantro? I don't know, whatever. I got mad and ignored it, and I ignored it so long that it made flowers. So these are my parsley flowers. And now they're no longer food, they're flowers. These are pesky little trees that have been hiding out, sneaking into our flower pots. Been picking those as they come up. Another thing, an absolute, just like Mod Podge of wildflowers. This little guy is my favorite. I don't know what he is, but he's really pretty. The lady likes the buttons. Don't know what they're called. There's some kind of buttons. White flowers, different white flowers. Another one of those things that I like, white flowers. Beautiful poppies are coming in. The wind's knocking all the leaves off, but these poppies are gorgeous. Moving on to the green onions. These are the same green onions that I use in my cooking videos. Literally bought a bunch of green onions once at the store. Chop them up, freeze what I don't use, plant these, grow them, chop them up, rinse and repeat. This was going to be another Mod Podge of Wildflowers. Ignore that. That right there. Ignore that. These were going to be another Mod Podge of Wildflowers, but, you know, you have a two-year-old, they're going to kick over a pot of flowers every once in a while. Went to a store, bought a single package of uh, annuals. So these aren't going to come back. Don't know what they're going to be. So, uh, mystery annual flowers. That's what those are. Over here are onions from my uncle's house. Uh, they've got seeds. They're going to drop seeds. I don't know. They're weird onions. They seed in the spring, they seed in the fall. No idea what these are, but if they're gonna seed, I'd rather them seed on this like useless whatever ground over here. So that's what that's gonna be. Here we've got some more wildflowers and either some kind of pest or whatever, uh, what do you call varmint got on in this side, which you can see a clear difference. I think that's dill. I, I may have just planted dill there to fill the other half. Is this food? What is this? Why is this in here? Who puts food in like a package of wildflowers? Don't know what any of these are, but this guy, no, not the white flower. The white flower got knocked over in the storm and I just kind of wrapped it up the pole. But this guy... This guy's impressive, man. So it's got these yellow flowers, and it's like three or four feet tall now. As you can see, I've kind of just like wrapped it and wove it through the stuff because it kept falling over. It's so top heavy. Maybe it's a vine, but you can see a bunch of little pods. It's gonna grow a bunch of these yellow flowers. So I really like this thing, whatever it is. Now these, I know you Trillium, you'll probably know what these are but these were microgreens that I let grow for too long and they sprouted flowers and I thought well you know what I already have food that I'm not gonna eat that has turned into flowers ie my parsley flowers so I guess now I'll have microgreen flowers so these are my microgreen flowers that's lavender that's sage this is the curled parsley that we're actually going to use this is basil that we're actually going to use uh, that's thyme. I don't remember what kind of thyme. But that's some thyme. Um, jalapenos. You got jalapenos? I think I got ants. You can see like an ant on here. Get out of here, buddy. Uh, strawberries? Something. It might be the ants, but something is getting into my green beans. Uh, I'm gonna hit everything with seven dust. Tell me if that's a bad idea in the comments down below. Um, these are going to be some kind of round tomato. I don't like the oblong ones, oblong ones, and they're not cherry tomatoes. So some kind of round tomato, maybe beefsteak, maybe some kind of hybrid. These are carrots. They may look done. I don't know what finished carrots look like, but these are definitely not done. I transferred them two weeks ago, and there was not even a carrot. It was just a root still, so. But they're pretty tall. I mean, they're, they're pretty decent for carrots. You know, I put a bunch in one pot. Uh... Cucumber, pumpkin, um, buh, 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 buh. what's the other one that looks like 
basically, I don't know, some kind of vine maybe, or melon, watermelon maybe, I don't know. These are my peas, they're sprouting a couple of little sweet pea pods, can I get, can I get in there? Yeah, there we go, a couple of little pea pods, I don't know, I don't know how they're going to turn out. Uh, more of the same kind of tomato, more peas, I don't know what this is, something is definitely eating my garden. I need to hit everything with seven dust, I don't know. If seven dust is a bad idea, scream at me, please. Mint. This tomato plant, it was the first one I transferred, and the wild thing is, I transferred this one. One week difference, then I transferred that tomato plant, and that tomato plant. And that's it, it there's like a different, there's like a one foot difference, you could see them. Anyway, it's comical. Those are my other green beans. Uh, the rain came down, and like, tried to kill this thing. Like, the roots were showing like, that deep in the soil, man. So I had to put new dirt. Obviously, you can see there's like new just whatever dirt on top just to cover it. And it just sprayed everything with dirt. I got three stalks of corn that survived all the wild craziness. And over here, you've got broccoli that I just planted today. These, it, it's a type of lettuce that looks like butter crunch. But it's not butter crunch, it's like bib or something. I don't know. But it looks like butter crunch, and that's these. These are going to be romaine lettuce, and these are going to be cauliflower. Uh, these are both carrots. I wanted more carrots. I realized that carrots are really easy to grow, and you can grow them year-round, whatever. So more carrots and more radishes. I grew some radishes, and of all the radishes I grew, um, like four, I think, were like edible. So, yeah. This is, uh, I, I transferred one tree. I, I saved one tree and I've been using this for various dirt. So, this is all of my garden. This is my crazy garden. Let me know what I gotta do. Should I just dump seven dust all over this stuff? You let me know down in the comments below. Once again, shout out to my girl, Trillium. And, uh, hey, OnePlus, you know, the phone? Yo, OnePlus, I'm about to, like, end your whole career. I filmed this video, like, seven times with this uh, OnePlus phone, and it's a piece of trash. Do not buy OnePlus. OnePlus phones are garbage. Never buy them. Ooh, eat it. So, uh, there you go. This is my garden. Um, this is, yeah, this is food. These are herbs. These are the flowers. Let me know. Let me know what the hell that is. That's wild stuff. Um, and what else? Uh... Whatever these are, whatever this little thing is, let me know what this is. And is this parsley or is this cilantro? I have no idea. I can't tell. Anyway, thank you all for stopping by. You all have a great day. This was Krepsy K, and I'm getting out of here.